Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. An AOS matchup on the show. It's the Mudcats taking on the Houston Astros. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you, and a couple of division rivals going head-to-head today, Siggy. I think when these two teams match up, that regardless, you're looking to bury that other club because of what they've done to you over the course of the season. You figure, hey, it's my time to return the favor. I never stepped in that cipher. In my own class, no private school. I started taking out with that amazing just about ready to roll and join the slam here Christian Javier and singing he likes pitching at home well truly for him there is no place like home he's been so dominant here and as a teammate you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has the fans expected Christian Javier which is a Houston pitcher that we've gotten to before Starts this game, four pitches, fastball, slider, knuckle, curve, and changeup. Evo pulling a ball, and that's going to get down. Lead-off single. Okay. Little floater slider didn't really do much of anything. Lead-off man on as he often is. Be a little bit more patient here with Ash, perhaps. <clears throat> Nasty slider there from Javier. Not going to do anything with that. Double play time. Hopefully not. And no, that is not going to be the case. Back up the middle. Good swing and a fastball down the middle, and it's crazy just to see. I believe we got... Five or six hits in the entire game in the Tigers franchise game. We just finished. First two on here in Nashville's game here today. Well, Brent Rooker's in the game. No Turbo Yoda for about a week. Knuckle curve will miss down and away. In the sim, Nashville did lose the first two games of this series. Still three and a half games to good in the American League wild court. Oh. Felt like a decent swing there from Rooker. A little bit out in front. Ooh. Nasty. One and two now. We don't get a lot of at-bats with Brent Rooker. Strikeout. First out here in the first. There is so much noise happening here at Minute Maid Park. It's incredible. Well, Squid with two on, one away. Ball for a strike. 0-1. Looking for a mistake breaking pitch. Kicks and deals. Ball. That's off the mark. And that's ball one. 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 Way to lay off that pitch down. Two fastballs so far. Righty delivers. Big swing and a miss. Just late. Now one and two. Good foul away on the slider. Two on, one out. In the air. Not sure that's deep enough to advance Evo. It's not. Even with his speed, well, the throw wasn't that great. We probably could have done a little bit of something. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. Two away. It's been a good productive lineup so far this year. Currently ranking among the better teams in terms of total hits and runs per game. See, just you know, just be good at baseball right now, and we're going to be in good shape, play, okay? This is an age where strikes <laughs> are up so high, and guys are swinging and missing going for the fences, but you can increase that. Batting 337, which is the second highest average in the American League. When that big swing comes through, you're playing more runs. So we'll see oh. if this pitcher can get some soft contact. Out in front, just barely on that knuckle curve. That felt 
Like a really good chance to do something 0-1. Pass ball will miss low. Speed we have on base. We could put somebody in motion, but we probably should have done it by now. Leave everyone where they are. And into left field. That's going to get down. One run at least will score. We're going to hold Ash at third. A double and an RBI. One nothing for the Mudcats. That gets all the way to the wall. The second run scores easily. Is here's Pat with two gone. Got some power here. Slider will just miss from Javier. Oh, knuckle curve breaks so low, and it's so slow as well. Out in front on that one and one. Two and one. Haven't gotten a clue as to who's our home plate umpire in this game. Base hit is all we need to really break this open early. Three and one. And I don't think they want anything to do with Pat, which might be a mistake. I mean, Lucas is on deck. Switch hitter. Yeah, the right hitter deals. Fouled away by Pat. Came back in the zone. It's a full count now. Two outs. Foul ball and it remains. Stay alive. That knuckle curve is going to be a problem all game. Nashville does score a run, but we strand two in scoring position. Javier gets out of it in a way. <clears throat> now, if only I could uh, just get my uh, stream deck to reconnect. <clears throat> 22 pitches is a victory in itself. I did that in Tigers franchise uh, earlier. Maybe starting to be less of a dumbass. Finally. It's been it's been like a week of being extra bad. Cutter will miss to Corey Jolks leading off for the Astros in the finale of a three-game series. 12-6 foul. Here comes a pitch. Change up on the ground. One away. Well, the first time that the, at least the last time rather, that the uh, Mudcats did face Christian Javier. We chased him before we got to the fifth as well. Although that was a home game, I want to say. That'll maybe settle everyone into this ball game, and that includes their own starter on the mound. Jeremy Pena in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Ooh, fastball call to strike. 50-50 call. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Cutter popped up. Pat will take it. Little bit of interference there, but we'll make the play anyway. Here's Jordan. I see the strike zone is big today. Ooh. Out in front again. Team down a run here in the third. Not sure, what we throw here. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. It's finally laid on one. Got a cutter at 99. Let's try it over here. And that's going to beat a, the shift a little bit. 
It'll be a long single for Alvarez with two away in the first. <clears throat> Not sure if the entire defense isn't shifted, if it really matters there. Altuve with two gone, one on. It takes a look at a called strike. Ah. What a beautiful curveball. The runner at first with two gone. Next pitch is inside. Two and one now on Altuve. In the air. Brent Rooker moves in. Hey, we'll actually have, I feel like, decent reaction in right field today. So the Astros leave one, and it remains one nothing. One nothing Nashville after the two out hit by Alvarez. Back here in Houston, down to rookie first baseman, Lucas Jack. Lucas batting 276, 17 home runs. The right hander back to work. Leading off here against Christian Javier. Two curveballs haven't timed up a single one. Actually, yes, we have. We just haven't barreled one up. All in two. Now one and two. Best curveball of the at bat was the final one. Third strikeout for Javier. Sons Castillo with one gone. Saw him off, but right to Altuve. Ooh, look, my average is up to 221. Incredible. Smack foul. How many home runs am I rocking? 26. Damn. He keeps throwing that curveball incredibly well. Like, I've got it timed. I just can't lay off the low ones. He throws that in the zone. It's a free strike, really. One and two. Two and two now. Now make it full. The inside edge. Look out now. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside. In the air. I think that's too much air under it. Deep fly ball to center field to end the second. Can't steal. Going to come back out. one nothing lead. Bregman, Diaz, and Abreu to get through. Bregman batting 259. Entering play. Mid-September. That changeup sucked. Nice play by Ash. Throw. Nice throw as well. One away. Gainer Diaz. It's going well on the mound when we're not really hitting our timing on the meter, and yet we're getting strikes anyway. Change up. On the edge, fouled off. It's where I'd love a slider, but we don't have one. Missed the curveball badly. Felt like he timed that up decent. Let's go fastball away. Foul ball still 0 2. 
Haven't thrown the knuckleball yet. The wide of the pitch. And one and two. Maybe for good reason. Got him with the cutter. Swing and a miss. First strikeout of the day for Mudcat of the Mudcats. Laid on the cutter. With Velo still on that pitch. 99. Change up borderline call. We don't get. And a 1 0 knuckleball. A little bit low. Yeah, now adjust. He was out in front. <laughs> you just saw like 60, 67 miles an hour. What the fuck are you on that? Swing and a miss on a cutter. We didn't throw that overly well. Change up, man. Stays alive. And the pitch. Oh. The other way. Swung at that. On the ground to me over there at second base today. Three up, three down. And land the inning. One, two, three. Go the Strohs. Trying to extend a one nothing lead. Top of the order. Due up in the third. Olivo saw only one pitch. His first at bat. Make sure that's not the case here. Right on the edge. Right on top of the zone. On one. Javier pitching Evo very, very well right now. Ball one. See when he comes back in the zone here. Not even close there. And the count is even two and two. Yep. Set us up well. Mistake swing. Strikeout number four for Javier. And a rare strikeout for Evo. We don't do that very often with this player. Ash with one gone. <laughs> I mean. Can't place it any more perfect than that. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Oh and two. That's strike two. And back up the middle again. That gets down again. That's two for two. Now Brent Rooker. Sidestep this. <clears throat> On the ground, and a base hit from Brent Rooker. So Squid will bat here in the third. Good chance for us to do something at the plate now. One and all on Squid. Ooh. Rough call there on Javier. Oh. <laughs> what was the swing on this? Out in front. We barrel it up. It's foul. Don't throw it again. He didn't. It was a fastball to Squiddy Rock Jr. Three run home run for nothing Nashville. A gigantic blast. And they add 
Tried to sneak a fastball by us right down the middle. That did not work. Squid killed it. She wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bad was very <laughs> no high five. And it paid off. <clears throat> I don't think that happened. Blasted. One down. Now Jordan got only one away in the inning. And first fouled off. Ring is fouled off. Already three runs across in the frame. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Yep, you, you gave him like the uh, the good old COVID bump. And the pitch. That one one's two. upstairs, ball one. one. two. Count, Fifty one, two. pitches already for Javier. Way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed her up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. On the ground, good speed, but a good play. Out number two. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run, not allowing it to stay in. Pat 0 for 9 in the series. What a fastball. I feel like when, when we actually get a couple seasons in with this team, this team's going to be, like... Insane to play with. Two outs. Oh, count wow. one and two. They already kind of are. Bows it back with two strikes. Oh. Her ball misses oh, on two. Pat. Two really and two. Take, 23 two pitch inning for Javier. Hadn't thrown that pitch like that in a while. <clears throat> and land the inning. Three run home run for Squid. Makes it 4 0. That's Sammy Sosa swing. So pretty. Even on a big guy like Squid. Big lead to work with. As McCormick leads off. Popped up. First pitch. Lucas in foul territory. One away. We like those. <clears throat> Mauricio Dubon. Not sure where that missed. One down, base is empty. Oh, back up the middle! Oh, we stopped it! Not gonna be able to make a play, though. Base hit for Dubon. So here's Corey Jolks. Lead off hitter for the Astros. Strike one. Oh. Not a good swing there. Oh boy. That may go off the wall. I don't know if Sauce Castillo's tall enough he is. I just saw the little man running back there. Wasn't sure if he had the height to reach up there and grab it. He did. Jeremy Pena. With two away. It's about the only way that Sauce is a defensive liability out there is just by the fact that he's not that tall. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Popped up. Pat's going to get it to get through the third. 4 nothing Nashville cruising right now. One left for Houston. They're down 4 nothing.
Back here at Minute Maid Park, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Lucas Jack. Lucas leads off, 0 for 1. Three knuckle curves his first time up. That misses the zone. Slider misses and away. That is ball no one. Well, these guys did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played it four runs already. Wait so on that. No, out in front on that. It's working out pretty well right now. <sighs> and a one two. On the ground. About fucking time. We <laughs> squared up one of those hanging curves. Even even if it's an out, still, I mean felt like we had a chance to hit one of those hard. Saul Castillo. Sauce Castillo. Ball one. No strikes. And Sauce gives one a ride. Left center field. That gets down. Up against the wall. It'll be a double for Sauce Castillo. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Realized I never fixed my title. Jordan Nixon, the next to hit. I've got an RBI chance here. Just Ball one. Outside edge. One, oh. one and oh. Come on, Man at second. Two that and oh. Close. Two balls, no strikes. Movement in the bullpen. Javier want to face Evo instead? And in the oh, great. Place. Justin Verlander's warming up. Three and oh. With the two oh and he's fired three, three straight oh. outside the strike zone. Evo with a base hit already today. And a four-pitch walk. Okay. And Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Six straight balls from Javier. Pitch number seven. Ball. One out. Runners at first and second. Three and one. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Potential to get ugly now for Javier. And a pitch. Oh, we went around. Ouch. Three and two. And down the right field line. Evo's going to have extra bases. One run is scored. A second comes home without a throw. In a full count, Evo back to his old ways. Opposite field, a two RBI double. Go back up the middle in the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll. That'll be all for Javier. Let's see if they make the move for Verlander. He heads for the dugout. We'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Justin Verlander. Yep. Game number 40 for Justin Verlander, whose ERA is nearing four. But he's still JV. Ziggler. Strike. 0 and 1. Still only one out here in the inning. The shortstop takes a ball. Back to back curves. Oh. 
Slider. Good pitch. <clears throat> One and two. No fastballs yet from JV. And back up the middle. Does not get down. And we're going to get doubled off here. I really didn't think that had that much on it. Wait, he didn't tag the back. Okay, um, a little bit of a break. One for two. Check swing. Our check swing sucked today. Yeah, it's going to miss there. No ball. Two strikes. Oh, and two. It's the downside of getting ahead of the Astros early is that these days you are going to see JV. And you get it right where you want it. And the ball evens the count. Knight at second with two down. Two and two. Ah, back up the middle. That will score Evo. RBI single, Brent Rooker. A couple of balls squared up here against JV. Rooker, although a Ricker, Rooker, a little bit harder hit and on the ground. That got through. Now Joe Rock. Squiddy Rock Jr. One in the <laughs> oh boy. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Broke as soon as I started the swing. Take that two and, two and one. one. Three and one. Interesting choice. A full count on Squid. Size of the strike zone we have to protect. Three and two on Squid. Down low. Squid works a walk. We're doing a bat with two away and two on. If they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. And popped up. A little bit behind a fastball up and in. We'll end the inning. It's now 7 0 Nashville, though. Three runs on three hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. Wow, what a curious name for this little area here. Center fields in center field? No way. Jordan's one for one. The wide to kick the pitch. Well, every pitcher wants a run support. We are only in the bottom of the fourth. It can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse. Go after hitters and get quick outs. Here's the 0-2. There's just not really a reason to have a pitch like a knuckle curve, is there? Ball. That one missing inside. One, two. One, two on Jordan. That sucked. Evo's got to go cut that off. Be a long single again for Jordan Alvarez. A 
At least we're up 7 nothing. Cutter in. Inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off the tee. They had a breaking ball two. drops in for a strike. Come on. And that one smacks center field. Evo's been a little busy today. Oh, why did that get, get dangerous? Got tied up a little bit. Starting to see some hard contact off of. Mudcat steal here in the fourth. And that one. Sauce Castillo's gonna have another chance at the wall. He got it. Made that play twice in this game now. I'm not a big fan of all the hard contact here in this inning, but might just be some bad pitch location. Curveball will miss low to Yiner Diaz. The Strohs with a lot of ground to make up. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Popped up. Swing and a pop off. It'll end the fourth. Seven nothing Nashville. Oh, I can finally reconnect my stream deck. Not going their way. It's seven nothing. Almost an hour later. And we're back. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the power hitting catcher, Patrick Mack. Pat faces Verlander. Verlander back to work. Now this is in the air down One the off line. foul. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Amazed we were able to make contact. 0-2 on Pat already with two strikeouts. Damn. Had that in the zone as well. Very early. Didn't look like it. Just not, just not Pat's game. 1-0 on Lucas. And on the ground, picked, and Lucas out two away. Well, if you were hoping for a more pacey game, maybe we've got that for you now. Here's Sauce. Fastball for a strike. Home run pitch right there. And a foul ball. Went back up in the zone. 0-2. Here the third and final game of the series. Next pitch is outside. Verlander still gonna have good stamina as he's in the game in, in MLB the show as a starter. Could stick around a while. Which may be a problem. <laughs> Good thing is, it's 7-0. Bad news is, Justin Verlander is doing Justin Verlander things right now. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And here's the first baseman. Brayu bats. Start the fifth. Right through there for a strike. Well, these Astros, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. Feels like it's time for another knuckleball. 0-2 now. And that's in the dirt. One ball, two strikes. Ooh, good location on the cutter. Only strikeout number two. On a contact today by the Astros. Chaz McCormick, all for one. Feels like even our mistakes have been in the zone today. And the Astros to swing a lot more than 
we've really seen in any sort of MLB gameplay as of late. Ooh, back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well-placed curve. Down goes McCormick, now Mauricio Dubon. One for one. That ball missed our spot completely, but in for a strike. Change up, pulled foul. Two strikes on Dubon. I want a strikeout on the knuckle, uh, the knuckleball so bad. And that's not going to happen, but they do make contact. Ground ball to Lucas. Ends the fifth. To the sixth. Shirley against Verlander again. Myself, Evo, Ash, do up. Back here in Houston, top six. Any win at this point in the season, going to be big. Three and a half games to the good in the wild card. Fastball in from Verlander. Nixon measures six feet even, only 18 years old. He's knocked in nine over his last 10 games. Fouled away. Slice down the right side. Too late on 96, up and in. 0-2. Oh no. Good eye on that spot. His understanding of the strike is very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. On the ground. That's going to be a base hit. I don't get many singles here in Mudcats franchise. It's pretty much home run or nothing. So base runner on for Evo always a threat to get on base. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Eve Knight. And first offering is throws that again. I feel like we can be on that. And it's found nope. <clears throat> I was just too scared of the slider. Oh, and two on Evo. Taken. I feel like Evo's the, the easiest to check swing with in this lineup. Don't really remember what his discipline in uh, plate vision is at. Ah. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter when you swing at balls like that. It's a rare two strikeout game for Evo. Ash two for three. Ball one. And oh no! A little bit of good aim and a double play for Ash. Hit hard, but. Same thing we've been doing for base hits, just the hard contact up the middle, but a little bit off to the left here. Ends the inning. Back here in Houston. It's back to back good aims for Ash, to be fair. Well, can't steal back out for the sixth. Do we need him to be? No. Will he be? Yes. I feel like there is a chance to get through seven, albeit slight. One and two. And another ball. Just not offering at it. Ah. Full count now. Should have thrown a cutter here. Pulled foul, or pushed foul, rather. Throw a cutter here. Got him. Too close for Jolks to take, apparently. One away. Pena. Change up left up. Oh, 
Oh, two now. Oh, All of a sudden, it's a respectable strikeout number for Ash Steele. Fifth of the game. However, here's Jordan, who's two for two. Late on the cutter. Interesting. This is stupid. So stupid. And on the ground, Ash. She's got it. Throw gets Alvarez, ends the sixth. See if we can do a little bit more damage. Seven, nothing, Rooker, Squid, and you! <clears throat> well, Brent Rooker with a very quiet two for three, two singles in this game, faces JV in the seven. Verlander, back to work. There's a swing and a miss. Well, you know this guy wants to pitch off something that he can hit hard and drive over the wall, but you've got to set your sights down a little bit. You can't lose In the air, foul from Rooker. That you just can't do anything with. Can't be late on a 79 mile an hour curveball. Can't. <laughs> How many strikeouts is that for JV? We'll never know. But that time, a little anxious. Joe Rock, the next to hit. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is That's ball off. fouled away. A lot of room for JV to work with in terms of the zone. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off. All in two. Couple of fastballs high. Wouldn't be surprised to see a curveball low. Or curveball right down the middle. All in two. The pitch. Threw it better that time. Two strikeouts for Verlander here in the seventh. We're just not getting a count on him, I guess. And in the air, left center field. Is it gonna get down? No. Chaz McCormick ran it down. Well, probably the final inning for Mudcat here in the seventh. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Altuve leads off four, five, six for Houston. And in the air, Sauce Castillo's going to chance, gonna get a chance to do it again, and he's going to do it again. Houston has been aiming for that wall now a couple times in this game, and yet everything is going to be uh, is set to hit off the lower part of the wall, which has given Sauce Castillo the chance to make plays. Base is empty one away. you the bottom of the seventh. <laughs> that was called a strike, even though Pat couldn't catch it. Swing and a miss. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hard hit to Lucas. He makes the play. Two gone. We'll see who we're going to go to here in the pen in this game. A 7 nothing lead. Don't need the back in. There will be no Blake Snell today. Right through there for a strike. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 7% of the guys he's faced in this one. Not the greatest pitch. Fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Here in the third and final game of the series. And they'll do it again. That wasn't great either. The knuckleball. The perfect way to go out. 
Nope! <laughs> oh, that pitch is so useless. Two out single for Yanner Diaz. Brave strike one. The oh. fuck was he swinging at? Easy strikeout. Ends the seven. Seven strong from Steele. And it's seven nothing Nashville. <laughs> Pat's quite an athlete, did you know? Get some bullpen action up here. Not the kind of game for Joe Rocks. Although I guess it could be. Joe Rocked for the 8th, and then Harry Dix for the ninth. Right-hander kicks, deals. No, one there. One and one on Pat. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Pass ball only 93 that time from Verlander. You're taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. And a curve misses outside. In the air, right field. Not deep enough. Pat flies out. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Next is switch hitting first baseman, Lucas Jack. I'm with a final at bat for Lucas in this game. And first offering is fouled off. JV is just doing a really good job of mixing up speeds on that fastball. I swear. Hasn't thrown it much at, at its top velocity. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled I mean, that one's 92. He's got more! Going two now. Good time to fight that one off. 53 pitches out of the pen for Verlander. The 0 2. And that's in the dirt. Not sure what's in the game's head where it just says, hey, Justin Verlander, long reliever. We see it in Road to the Show and in this franchise. Right handed reliever. Ground ball from Lucas. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. One out single for Lucas. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of Sauce Castillo with the one infield. away. Sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Now here is Saul Castillo. Slider takes so long to break. Righty delivers. Oh, right back up the middle. Second hit of the game for Sauce Castillo. Damn near. Took Verlander's head off. Rough day at the dish, a little bit. Now it's the second baseman, Jordan Nixon. Really, nobody uh, on this team does super great when we're away from our home ballpark. And that's oh. in for a strike. Should have swung at that. JV's running out of gas. Chopper foul. Finally ramped up at least to 94 on that fastball, but. Way out in front. That misses the zone. One and two to count. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose Outside. so that it can set up two and two. a pitch. Go Verlander. <laughs> what a sign. Imagine bringing a sign to the ballpark, albeit for Justin Verlander, but for the long reliever. Two on, one out. Yep. Swing and a miss. And he got him. Swing and a miss. Strikeout for myself. 
My day ends with only one hit. Evo's two for four, but the two at bats he doesn't have a hit in. Strikeouts. That, oh! Bobbled it at second base by Altuve. They get Evo anyway. Little good aim there. So we'll send out Joe Rocks for the eighth. Which could make for a long eighth. But the old man's out here. Spin rate. I mean, he's got that knuckleball that just floats up there and dances all over the place. As the lefty gets to work. And that's a base hit to start the inning. Not great. McCormick on. Supplied a lot of power on that one. Vulcan change at 75. On the ground, it won't be two, we can't get one. It just found a way through. Oh God. Can't blow this game, right? On the ground. That's going to be a tough turn at two. Don't think we're going to get any. Oh, no, we got one at second. Infield's been tested here in the eighth. Nice throw from Ash. Couldn't get the out at first. On the ground again. Run's going to score. We're just trying to get one out. We can't. Everything hits slow in the infield and some decent speed. It's 7-1. There's chopping these change-ups. That and their first pitch swinging on everything. Six pitches for Alvarez. It's allowed like three base runners. There's one out in the inning. What the hell has happened? Left-hand batter waits. <laughs> How does he foul that off? He's got a knuckleball. Back to Joe Rocked. Should be two. And it is. Nice way to get through the inning. Final chance to tack on more. Oh man, a little hot. It's the top of the night, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Rafael Montero, and he's done a great job keeping the Verlander exits, in comes Montero. Head to the bullpen, Harry Dix for the ninth. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Mm, good change up. Ninth season, 33 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Riding to the plate. Foul ball. Two balls in the zone to start the at-bat for Ash. A whiff and a foul. Out to Ground short. ball. Throw good. But hey, a multi-hit game for Ash. That doesn't always happen. Brent Rooker also with two hits in the game. And hard hit, but right to Dubon. Didn't strike out in the game. This is true. Squid with a home run in the game. And a slow hit. Ball back up the middle. Add another to the hit column for Nashville in this one. Not sure what's happening with the Astros. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. And soft hit, right field. That gets down. 
My cats might not be done yet. However, I guess I think Pat's due up, so we might be done. Pat's 0 for 4. Rough game for him. Down low, good block. Over at second, Guy at first, two out of the inning. Ball. Two and out. Oh. And now two and out. Oh. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. He's having your usual game back in like July. No, June. I feel like we broke out of that a little bit in July. Three and one on Pat. And a foul ball. Swings and misses. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get him home. One more okay. shot coming up. Harry Dix comes on. Six run lead. Look at the ERA for Harry Dix under one. 0.79. Fourth ball in. Dixon is what you're looking for in a good reliever. The ball stays in the ballpark. It's so hard to square him up. Swing and a miss. Damn. Blew it by him at 99. Altuve gets a piece of the 0-2 fork ball. Kicks and deals. Got him with the curve. Pat's throw down to first. Completes the strikeout. One away. It's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer on the Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard. Look at a swing from Altuve on that as well. So far out in front. Next to hit, Alex Bregman. Bregman with one gone. Fourth ball in for strike one. Bases empty one away here at the last half of inning number nine. Next pitch is outside. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. One ball. Two strikes. Oh, That's that one smashed. Stevo on. on the run. He'll make the play. Nice Evo doesn't get a lot of defensive opportunities in these games with the pitching staff we have. He's had a couple here today. Ener Diaz, ball one. Astros down to their final out, down six. And there's a one and one. Good heater at 98. If I can locate that heater. One and two. Diaz not offering it much. This could end it. Curveball on the ground. Slow reaction from me. Off balance throw and the mud cats win. Harry Dix comes on, shuts the door. It's a uh, 7-1 win. One run coming against Joe Rocked, but <clears throat> overall, fairly dominant win, and that'll certainly help in the wild card race. Came in three and a half games to the good. Steal the win. Javier, the loss.